Hello my dear students. Today we are going to learn poem of photograph. This is the first poem of class 11th and this is written by Shirley Tulson. She was a poet who lived in Somerset, England. She came under the influence of Celtic Christianity during the period she was working on her books dealing with the folklore of Britain and Ireland. She was inspired by her father who was also a writer. She seems to have imbibed in her life very strongly the impact of religious persons and saints. Among her notable writings, the Celtic Alternative and the Celtic Year are very famous. Students, through this poetry, what she wants us to understand, let us find out. But before that, let me show you a few of the pictures which are related to our past and present to show the true importance of photographs. This picture shows the two atomic bombs dropped on Japan in 1945 that killed many and maimed hundreds and thousands of people. Then we see World Cup which shows enthusiasm of Indian team. Arijit Singh, who was a struggler at first and then he became popular in Indian Bollywood. Then we see APS Peshawar attack, then Nirbhaya case, Taj Hotel attack, Kedarnath tragedy, etc. So all these photographs has the capability to bring out both sweet and bitter memories of our life and so happens in this poetry as well students when we look at the theme it talks about impermanence of life our life is transient and our memories are intransient human being might not be seen the next day but memory remains in our mind forever Let's move towards the line-wise explanation of the poem. The poem goes like this. The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling, each one holding one of my mother's hands, and she, the big girl, some twelve years or so. Students, the first thing that we should note down is that there is no rhymic scheme in the poetry okay it is written in blank verse students the word cardboard denotes a photograph in the poem it is the photograph of the poet's mother who is no more it is therefore a piece of memory connected with the poet's past which fills her with nostalgic feelings it reminds the poet of her past as it used to remind her mother of her days as young girls students the camera has captured the moment when the poet's mother along with her two cousins went paddling in the water the cousins Betty and Dolly were holding the mother's hands and it, it is noticed that her mother was the elder compared to both the girls. Let's move to next line. All three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera. A sweet face, my mother's, that was before I was born. And the sea, which appears to have changed less, washed their terribly transient feet. Students, these three girls had gone for a holiday with their uncle who was with camera and all these three girls had gone into the water and they were posing for the photograph. At that time, wind was blowing mildly because of which their hair was ruffled. Now the poet remembers her mother is no more who is there in the photograph but the sea in which they had gone and were posing for the photograph is still there. It shows nature is permanent and human life is transient for a transient 
period in this world for this i can give you example that river ganga which is mentioned in our mythological stories it is still there in present time as well okay so nature is permanent let's move further some 20 30 years later should laugh at the snapshot see betty and dolly should say and look how they dressed us for the beach the sea holiday students here the poet remembers her mother the mother laughed at the snapshot which was taken years ago some day she happened to get this photograph and she while looking at this photograph she laughed and this laugh indicated that she was well aware of the fact that time was fast moving she only relived the memories of her past when as young girls they were dressed for the beach where the photograph was clicked students along with the time the dressing sense the fashion also changes so here mother looked at the dress of that particular time and she laughed this shows with time everything changes be it fashion be it human being let's move ahead the sea holiday was her past mine is her laughter both wry with the labored ease of loss students mother would look at the photograph and uh, laugh at the fleeting moments that had long passed after her death the poet often looks at the photograph and relives the memories of her mother she looks at the loss as her mother used to look at hers let's move further now she has been dead nearly as many years as the girl lived and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all it silence silences students it's been almost 12 years of her mother's demise and now in this circumstance in this situation she is not she does not have to say anything here we find helplessness of the poet this is universal truth that whoever has come on the earth they have to go as well but because of memory people become very painful because of their beloved's memory it aches it pains a lot let's Students, move towards the, the first devices device that we see here is alliteration which means repetition of a consonant sound at the beginning of two or more consecutive words here stood still s sound is repeated through there th sound is repeated my mother m sound is repeated then s of silent silences let's move ahead next is oxymoron it is a term which contradicts itself so here we find labored ease labored means to put hard work and ease means to become easy all right so with pain she is able to normalize her life another literary device is that it's silence here it refers to photograph and photograph cannot be quiet or it cannot speak okay it is human quality which is given to an inanimate object therefore it is personification students in this poetry the poet deals with the commonplace theme of mortality of life decay and death are an integral part of human life with time man loses his youth and his strength then one day he is no more what is left behind are sweet and sour memories which are often evoked by some photograph so students i hope the poetry is clear to you all we will meet with our next video till then take care bye bye